Hey guys, it's Manda Panda. Welcome to the Cat Noir Custom My Little Pony tutorial. And today, Applejack is going to be transformed into Cat Noir. I'm going to start off by removing Applejack's head. Now, this part is completely optional. You don't have to remove the head, but I personally find it easier to customize with both pieces separate. Applejack and Cat Noir have a very similar hair color, so for this custom, I am not not going to remove any of the hair I am going to leave it as is I'm starting off by painting the entire body with black acrylic paint and I chose acrylic paint over nail polish because I am gonna be working with Sugru and acrylic paint has the same finish as Sugru does so that's why I chose it I'm gonna be giving this about three coats to get even coverage and I'm being really careful not to get any paint in her tail. Cat Noir has a lot of detailing in his suit and I'm gonna try and recreate some of that on Applejack using some black Sugru. So I'm starting off by rolling out these two little pieces here and I am going to press those onto the collar to kind of make it look like uh, Cat Noir's little stand-up collar that he has with the V-shape down the front. So I'm gonna put both pieces on and Sugru is a very pliable so if it's too short you could always just pull it until it reaches the front just like I did right there. Now to make it meld better with the body I am using my finger and pressing downwards and I am basically just fusing the Sugru with the pony's body. And you can see the big difference from the left and the right side. It looks really good once you have just smoothed everything out. I temporarily reattached Applejack's head just so I would make sure that the collar was the right height. Now I'm just going to carefully remove that head and then keep working on the body. I'm going to take this sharp tool from my toolkit and I'm going to cut the v-neck shape out of the collar area and then use some flesh colored acrylic paint to fill in that little triangle area so that way it looks like the chest. Now I'm going to go in for some more detailing. I have rolled out some Sugru into a long thin little roll and I'm going to place it right in the center area so it looks like the zipper on his cat suit. And then I'm going to take some more of this really fine rolled out Sugru and put some detailings around the legs that kind of looks like the detailing on Cat Noir's suit. Now I'm going to go in and give him a belt because you can't have Cat Noir without the belt. So I'm just going to wrap that around the waist and connect it down at the bottom of the belly. I have a second piece here for the second part of his belt that he uses for the cat tail. So I'm putting that on Apple Jack's body. And that looks so awesome. It really looks like Cat Noir's little belt with the tail attached to it. Now, Cat Noir wouldn't be Cat Noir without the little ring. So what I'm doing is I am drawing the design from his ring as the cutie mark. I thought that that was a really good way to incorporate the ring and the pony. What better than a cutie mark? So I'm going in with some white acrylic paint and I'm just drawing out the shape from his ring here on the flank. And then I'm going to go in with this neon yellow green color that I created using two nail polishes that I will put down in the description box below. And this is going to give it that fluorescent look just like his ring when it lights up and this looks really cool now i'm gonna let the sugru completely dry overnight i'm gonna let it set let it harden and once it is all dried i'm going to give the entire pony one layer of clear top coat if you want a matte finish you could always use Mod Podge or some sort of sealant specifically for acrylic paint, but I just prefer to use nail polish. 
The last step on the body is his little bell. I have these small nine millimeter bells that I picked up at Michael's and I am just going to attach one of them to the bottom of his V neck here at the front. I'm going to put that aside, let it dry and start working on the head. Using some acetone, I am removing Apple Jack's eyebrows, eyelashes, and I'm also going to remove parts of her eye to just give myself a real general shape of where I want the eye and the mask to be later. Now I'm gonna take some flesh toned acrylic paint. This is the same color I used on the chest area of the body. And I'm going to completely cover the head with three, maybe even four coats of paint to get a completely opaque coverage. And I am not going to paint the ears since those will be painted black later on. So the face is all dried. I've used a pencil and just kind of sketched out the area where I want the mask to be. And now I'm going to go in with this nail polish from China Glaze called The Grass is Greener. And I am just going to cover Applejack's original eyes and give them a more cat shape, an almond shape to them. And I just needed to know like a general area of where I wanted the actual eye to go. While that nail polish is drying, I'm going to go ahead and paint the ears black. Now that the eyes are dried, I'm going to go in with black acrylic paint again and draw the final shape of the eyes I want for Cat Noir. And again, I do want to make them very almond shaped, just like a cat. And then I'm going to outline the entire mask and fill it in. I made Miraculous Ladybug a couple of months ago and you guys asked me to make Cat Noir so many times. I read everybody's comments. I got a lot of messages on Instagram. So here he is. I hope that you guys like the way that he comes out. So far, he's actually looking pretty cool, I think. So the mask is on and I'm just going to fill in all of the black area and then start working on the eyes. I'm using a mixture of this bright yellow and this green for the actual eye area. And I'm just going to kind of dab that polish on into the shape of a circle. And off camera, I'm actually gonna outline this in black. It's just really hard to do that fine line detailing on camera and I apologize for that. Now I'm taking the black again and drawing in his eyes in the shape of a cat. I also took a little bit of black and added it to the top of the eye to give it a little bit of a gradient effect. And I'm using my nail dotting tool to give him two light reflections in each eye. And this looks so cool. I'm gonna go over it with a layer of clear nail polish to seal all of my work in. Again, if you don't like that shiny finish, you could always use something matte like Mod Podge or one that's specifically for acrylic paint. This is another step that is completely optional. This is a very dirty blonde hair color that I got from dollyhair.com. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this into sections that are 1 8th the original length. So they're gonna be very short. They're gonna look like this, that's pretty short. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in to the existing hair holes and I am just going to give the hair a couple of highlights of this darker color. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because I want the hair to be a little bit fuller and the two colors really give dimension to the hair. And sometimes when you cut a pony's hair really short, like I'm gonna cut Cat Noir's, the hair can look a little sparse, a little bald. So I just think adding extra hair, it doesn't hurt. So see, I didn't put too many hair plugs in there, but just enough so you can see some of those highlights really, really coming 
through. Now, Cat Noir has really piecey hair. He has like little strands of hair here and there and kind of just everywhere. And I'm gonna try and recreate this look on the pony. I'm taking little sections of hair here and I am going to dip my finger in just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of clear glue. And I am going to twist that hair together to make it look like a little lock of hair, just like Cat Noir has. And then I'm going to cut the hair short, just below the eye mask area so just below where the eye mask starts so probably around here and i'm just going to repeat this process over and over again until i have done this to every strand of hair on the head and once i finished i am going to pop the head back onto the body and Cat Noir is completely done. Uh, let's take a look at the completed custom. Here he is, he used to be Applejack, and now it's Cat Noir. And his hair did come out a little bit messy, but I kind of like it. And I think over time, some of the, like, the little frizzy parts are going to fall. But overall, I think it looks really cool. I really love the cutie mark. I love the really, really bright lime green color. Reminds me a lot of his ring. It looks super, super cool. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this custom pony tutorial. It was requested by so many of you guys. I just had to make it. So I just want you to know that I do read your comments so if you guys have any ideas for my next custom pony let me know down in the comments below thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye And they definitely look better together, Cat Noir and Miraculous Ladybug. If you haven't seen the Miraculous Ladybug custom tutorial, be sure to check it out. I will link it down below. You can follow me online. To get the latest news and updates, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Collector, or follow me on Instagram at Collector. Want to mail me something? Guess what? You can. Mail it to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347.